Hi guys. So we're gonna do Iolite today. Um, with Iolite, it is a magnesium aluminum. Alu there we go again. Aluminium silicate mineral with a hardness of seven to seven point five. Um, let's see here. It hits up your third eye chakra. It's a wind element, and um, it applies to inner vision, shamanic journeying, healing of old wounds, and soul retrievals. Um, it blends it, the normal conscious thinking with intuitive knowing. And this piece is um, a tower form of it, or some people are calling towers generators now. But um, you can see the blue spots are going to be the parts that are iolite, and it's in a, like a quartzite kind of matrix. Um, gemstone quality eyelight is probably going to be a little bit darker, but it does the same things. Um, it's almost the same shade of blue as tanzanite. Um, they only vary a little bit on the color spectrum. But uh, this guy, since it's a larger tower size piece, you're going to see some whites and grays in there, but that's not typical. Um, it's also called water sapphire, so that's kind of fun. Um, Cordorite or diocorite are also names. It's found in Brazil, Madagascar, Burma, India, and Sri Lanka. Um, it offers to take one on the inner path to the deep self, which roughly, you know, broke down just means that it helps with inner guidance and it helps you kind of go a little further. Um, I feel like it would be a good stone for working with shadow work and trauma um, because it does kind of give you that little bit of self insight and self reflection. But um, it also helps you to see solutions to hard problems. Um, so again, great for your shadow work. Uh, Let's see. It um, kind of helps you figure out why you want the things you want, why your heart desires some of the things it desires, and to figure out logical reasons for why you feel the way you feel versus just feeling. Um, it kind of gives you the whys and the wherefores. Let's see here. It, there is a version of it that's mixed with sunstone, but it's a different crystal. Um, it's the mixture of both iolite and sunstone and so it's going to have a different hardness level and some different qualities but it's a darker shinier version of iolite it's almost the color of a dark blue sapphire with a shininess to it so you're going to be able to tell it apart from just plain old everyday iolite not that there's anything really particularly plain about iolite um, you see it a lot in jewelry. It's a great stone to wear again, especially if you're addressing shadow work um, I think probably if you paired it with with moonstone it would um, Kind of offer some insights into maybe dealing with um, Ancestral things and maybe family, you know trauma cycles figuring out why you know patterns are repeating in a family and curse breaking generational curse breaking i feel like those two would be good together for that um all right guys so as always like share um even throw us a comment now and again and we're always happy to answer your questions just hit us up over on the cat and the crow george's facebook page um just you know we need your help to stay out there so if you uh like I said, you know, hit the like button or share us. Um, that helps us immensely because we're itty tiny bitty. And in order for us to keep bringing you this information, uh, we've got to get it out there so that, you know, we can have some, you know, coverage and the ability to keep sending it. All right, guys. So thank you as always for watching and um, we appreciate you. Have a great day. Bye now.